Do you know what? Get it off your chest now. Come on. How are you, Darren? I'm all right. Go on, get it off your chest, Crookie. Come on. No, listen, I don't like to kick a man while he's down, but <laughs> Thursday night, sh should we go there? Manchester United, great, great performance. <laughs> Lovely. Love it. Uh, Olymp exit from, from the Europa League, the competition that you confidently predicted on this show only last week that Arsenal were not only going to win, they were going to, quote, batter Manchester United in the final. How did that work out in the end? Well, great. I mean, obviously it hurts me after 45 seconds into the show, you're already coming straight at me, you know, just for a knife through butter. But uh, listen, we didn't show up. We were poor. We were terrible. I think it's time for Arteta to maybe disembark the aircraft and uh, move on. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. I might need to put that air con on a little bit, Cookie. Oh, Daz, Daz is, Daz is so sweating. You, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's interesting because you've backed Mikel Arteta all the way. All the way. You, you keep banging on about the FA Cup last season. Uh, won it, we won it, though. Empty stadium. <laughs> won it, though. Played did, on the counter-attack. Did, um, did the substitution of Aubameyang that when was, you need a goal. That was the one. Like, listen, I know it wasn't Aubameyang's best game. He, he didn't get any service. He, he came close hitting the, the post with the header and then hitting the post with a shot. But still, you need a goal. You might as well. We've got nothing to lose. It's, it's a game for the season, by the way. Mm. It's not game. It's not the semi final of a cup competition. It's his game for this season. Like it's live or die. Do you know what I mean? That's the type of scenario. You just throw them all on there. If you get a goal, you get a goal. Does it hurt Arsenal fans more? Does it hurt you more that it was Emery's Villarreal that done it to you? It didn't faze me. What hurt me more than anything was their first half performance. Because you, you're chasing a goal, you need a goal, and you offer absolutely nothing. Well, I did both games. I commentated the first game on TalkSport 2. I was there the other night for TalkSport and I don't see it as Unai Emery winning the tie. I don't, Villarreal didn't have to do much to win the tie. In fact, Emery in the first game, by making the, the change he mm. made at half-time, taking off a striker, bringing on Coquelin, actually allowed Arsenal back Agreed. into the tie and, and, and gave them a, gave them a get-out clause that they didn't take. And I don't know what the tactics were in the second leg. And I've said that a few times watching Arsenal this season, so that has to come back to the man who, who's in the dugout as Everton come forward Ooh. again. Um, it, yeah, I mean, for me, I think Adrian Durham hit the nail on the head when he said that Roman Abramovich would have fired Arteta six times yeah. by now. And you have to bring into question, I guess this is where the fans protesting against Stan Kroenke are coming from. What is the ambition? We're going to talk about whether Arsenal can attract an elite manager, but what are they playing for now? Are you asking me that? Yeah. Uh, ninth. Is it pride, though? <laughs> wow. Is it, is it pride they're playing for it's now? It is, it is pride. Is it there, there wasn't much pride on Thursday night. Mm. And also, it went unnoticed because he got injured in the warm-up. Granite Xhaka was going to start at left-back again. Yeah. Tierney was fit, fit enough to come in and mm. play. There was a possibility that Saka could go there and move Granite Xhaka into midfield. Why is Granite Xhaka a left-back? Why is he making that decision? Why is he? <laughs> Why did he wait so long to bring on Lacazette? Why did he take off Aubameyang? There's so many questions about Arteta's management, and I know we, I was mocking you about it, but you keep defending him because of the FA Cup. If he hadn't won that FA Cup, his position would definitely be untenable. I understand that, but you, I mean, you can't say if he didn't because he did. But obviously, my patience is up with him. As I said there, I think Arsenal need to go in a new, a new direction and somebody who most certainly can get the best out of that group of players because right now he's not doing it. I don't think there are players I respected him like they maybe they once did at the very start and I can only see it going one way. Well, we, we asked, well, Cookie asked last week or, or basically stated that how, why and how can Tottenham attract an elite manager when they clearly can't? But can Arsenal still attract an elite manager? Uh, I still think there are people, people out there that will look at that group of players and think, I can work with them. I, I, and I think maybe a more established manager still could. Who would you appoint? Uh, Graham Potter. I like Graham Potter. And, and people would probably go, well, he's at Brighton. But if anyone who watches football and watches the way Brighton play, they play some... So you think Arsenal stuff. need Graham Potter? I'm not saying they need him, but I'm saying if you ask me a question, who would I appoint? Who can they get? I'll tell you what, I don't know about Graham Potter. I think they need Harry Potter, David Blaine, <laughs> Paul, funny, Paul Daniels, <laughs> all, all rolled into one. 